Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn CEO. Guys, in this video, I want to talk about how to attack 2016. I was sitting in my car yesterday driving to the gym and a song came on and it really gave me a strong focus, a strong message that I wanted to pass along to you guys about how to attack 2016, how to make it your best training year ever. And here's the thing, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still getting <clears throat> over a sickness, taking some antibiotics, I've had a cough for about two weeks. Here's the thing, 2016 is coming up. Most of you guys have had subpar results in 2015. You put together a plan, you studied form videos, you read the articles, you read the research, you're involved with all the sites and all the stuff. You're deep within the bodybuilding, muscle building, power lifting, power building culture or subcultures. You know all the stuff, you're doing all the stuff, you're training hard, but yet you're frustrated. Now this article doesn't go to the intermediates who are making good, or this video doesn't go to the intermediates who are making good progress. This is speaking to the 90% of you who are like, man, I got 14 and a half inch arms. I'm not satisfied. Man, my bench press is 200 to 220. I'm not satisfied. That's who this message is for. The message is called bring the hammer. Bring the hammer. That is the message that I'm going to beat for 2016. Bring the hammer. <clears throat> Here's how it works. Here's how it works. You guys are entering the gym with a plan. It's more like a to-do list. You have a bunch of exercises on your to-do list. You have sets and reps on your to-do list. But here is what it's lacking. This type of mindset, this to-do list, is your worst enemy because it's lacking heart and soul. The heart and soul that you are lacking is that you are not entering the gym trying to make every set count. You are not bringing the hammer on every set. You are entering the gym with a vague progression scheme approach. You are not bringing the hammer when it comes to progression. You are focused on quantity. You are, fo you are focused on on uh, specific styles of training, speed work, and all the different concepts. Um, volume, is volume okay? Is frequency okay? You got all these concepts and ideas floating around, but it's lacking the heart and soul, which is bringing the hammer. That will be 90%, that will be 90% of what it will take for you to be successful in 2016. All these other things have their place. But if you do not bring the hammer, and bear with me, I'm going to tell you how to do so. If you don't bring the hammer in 2016, nothing else matters. None of these concepts matter. Now, here's how to do it. Here's how to bring the hammer. And I'm going to have an article up on Monday or Tuesday on TigerFitness.com about this. So look for that. Come back and look for that. But here's how to bring the hammer in 2016. Number one, make every set count. Go into the gym and your focus has to be on pushing each set for as many reps as possible, stopping that set A, A, if your form starts to break down because you don't want to push sets and get into the sloppy zone where you're increasing your risk of injury. So stop that set when your form starts to break down or when you feel like you're going to fail on the next rep. There's no need to push it to failure. This will maximize every set for as many reps as possible. By doing so, you're going to be calling into play a maximal amount of muscle fibers, which will, um, by, do, by calling into play a maximal amount of muscle fibers, you will be maximizing the muscle building process and you will be, be building strength at an optimal and consistent rate. So this will also... This will also make sure that you are attacking progressive overload. Progressive overload or the strength building prog uh, process will help you with future muscle gains and obviously it's going to help you maximize strength. So the stronger you get, um, it's only going to help you when you're continuing along with the same amount of volume. So push every set for as many reps as possible. Stop that set when you feel like you might fail on the next rep or when your form starts to slip. That is how you bring the hammer on every set. Focus on quality sets, not quantity sets. Go into the gym with this approach. Make every set count. Now, <clears throat> we're all human. We can't do this on every set. But if, if you take this approach 
with only 80 to 90 percent of your sets in 2016 i guarantee you will have the best training year of your life you will build more muscle than you have previously you'll build more strength than you have previously you'll be making every set count you'll be making every every workout count you will be making the entire year count and you will be building muscle at an optimal rate and strength at a rapid rate that muscle will be coming will be, will be building at an optimal rate because you're pushing sets for as many reps as possible recruiting as many muscle fibers as possible and you will be progressing in strength you will be you'll have a consistent progressive overload approach and that will lend itself to create more muscle the stronger you get the bigger you're going to get the harder you push each set making every set count the more likely you are to build more muscle on that set if you just go in and do three by ten bullshit and you stop the first two sets like seventy percent of the way from a max effort you know as many reps as possible you're not making that set count you're just knocking out a to-do list so guys this is a message how to bring the hammer in 2016 it's a simple approach a lot of you guys will dismiss it and say this sounds too easy I'm gonna go look for something else but once you try this once you get into the mindset where you're making every set count then you won't have to worry about how many sets you're doing. You'll get into the gym and you might be like after 10 or 12 sets, I don't have much left in the tank. You might be, if you're young and have a faster recovery ability, you might be able to knock out 20, 22 sets using this, but I highly doubt it. But you will learn that it's not how many sets you do. It is not the set and rep schemes you do. It is the effort you bring on each set that will be the game changer for you guys. And don't freaking forget it bring the hammer in 2016 so guys hope this video has been of some help if you have any questions or comments hit them up below the best questions i'll turn into a video just like this and if you've made this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel please do i'd appreciate the support please share this video with your bros your friends on forums guys that don't get it so guys as always thanks for watching have a great day